Hey everybody, Ryan O'Halloran along with Jay Skursky. Camp is broken, finally, <laughs> after 12 practices. But Sean McDermott, Sean McDermott did the media a favor this morning by saying Josh Allen is going to start Saturday against Chicago, his first preseason action in the first game since 2019. Uh, thoughts on that? Well, I think it's a bit of a no-win situation for a coach, right? Every year, you, you've got the obvious risk of injury that comes with playing your star quarterback in meaningless games. And I think it's a wrestling match for, for McDermott, not to use a, a term that he would be familiar with. But you, I think with this roster in particular, it does make sense that you'd want to get Allen some reps, particularly when he is working with as many new wide receivers as he is. And McDermott mentioned that as, as part of the, the planning that goes into having him play. It's only going to be about a quarter. And, and I get it. I get it. The fans are worried about the risk of injury. But I think you can script a game plan for 15 minutes of action that minimizes that risk as much as possible, whether that means a lot of handoffs, whether that lot means a lot of quick uh, quick passes to get the ball out of his hands so he's not subjected to a lot of pass rush. Uh, I think there's value in having Allen play in this game, particularly when you're trying to make chemistry or build chemistry with a new set of receivers. Yeah, and also taking snaps from the new center. Yeah. So that would be important. Josh Allen knows how to protect himself. So you know, I, 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 I like it um, because you remember last year, it was probably like mid-October where McDermott said at one point, They'd only played like one solid game out of like five or six. Yeah. Even though they started three and one. Yeah. So I think there's maybe more of a sense of urgency on the Jervis part, but you know, we're all for it. So uh, Bills and Bears Saturday at one o'clock. Me and Jay will be there uh, at Highmark Stadium. We'll have some video reports afterwards, I'm sure. So buffalonews.com.